So 20 or 22 years ago, I got a set of VHS tapes. I think it was your first VHS tape. Oh yeah, the very first. <laughs> and it showed the over-under pass. And I was like, man, I don't know. And he's given the guy the triangle choke. Because <laughs> I was a white belt. Yeah, I knew yeah, everything. Yeah. But I was like, wow, this Fabio guy, I think he knows what he's talking about. Maybe I should give this a try. <laughs> and it took many years for it to actually get an over-under pass that kind of sort of worked for me. Where does the over-under pass come from? Because it does seem like at the very simple level, like you're jumping into someone's triangle choke. Yeah, the thing is, uh, as I said in the beginning, the very first pass that we have in Jiu-Jitsu uh, was a stack pass, right. right? You just put the hand inside, you go to the call and pass. Then, what happened was that the guy on bottom starts to work to keep you away. So, from the hip, push you away and start to play in the open guard. And then comes the Toriando pass, right? So if you cannot put the, my, my, my arm under your leg to the stack, I'm gonna go for the Toriando, right? Yeah. So uh, let's say I'm gonna try to stack, but you push my the foot away, so I start to grab and start to walk to the side sure. to the Toriando. And, and then if you, if you just mix these two positions, you're gonna end up exactly on the bull pass, or on, on, the, on the over under pass. We are doing the Toriando pass, and then you're gonna frame my shoulder. So as I cannot go any any further from this side, I'm gonna walk back in order to get the stack pass on the other side. But then when I get here, you're gonna just press this leg a little bit lower, so it's gonna be hard for me to reach the collar. So I just go back, and I'm here. Hmm. Right on the over under, right? So that's like how we start to do it. You know, combining, connecting, the Toriando pass with the stack pass, we find a way that, oh, this is a good spot to be. From this point, I can just keep going and, and pass the guard because I have a full control of the hip, the leg, so I'm kind of really safe position to be. So, after that, we start to go right away for this position. Before I do the Toriando pass, for example, instead of going to the side, I just drop in and swing my arm in like this. Boom. So I get the, 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 the over under right away from the beginning. Right. As I break the guard, boom, over under. But the problem for me start when the, the guys learn that if you grab over my shoulder and skip your hip, your hip maybe if I'm doing this, and try to go to the over under, you know, just put his hand, oh, that's it. So now it's hard for me to go. So then I stop doing the over under with the hand underneath your leg. Mm -hmm. So I start to control your shin first, all right? So instead of going from that first, uh, very first beginning, when you just swing your man, I just, I always go, over the shin. So my over under is start from here. Okay. All right? So I can get here, or if you go back for that guard, exactly what the guys like to do, I can just make sure that you're full inside, over and under again. So from this point, uh, it's, it's very hard for you because you don't have the, this foot on the ground to move your hip. Because you're locking it up. It's, it's completely yeah. locked. I control your hip. I can, as low as I go with my shoulder, tighter the position is going to be. I don't need to grab anything here. It's again, it's just about my weight and to put the pressure on you. So you're going to be on my toes and do like this. Okay. So the, the pass from this position, again, I don't want to walk 90 degree angle with you. I just step over. And get my chest to your chest before I let go of the other things. So you're keeping my foot off the ground the whole time. Yeah. How do you stop? Because the leg's pretty strong. How do you stop it from kicking? Free? It is strong if you if I have like this, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Then it can just easy to break, right. right? If I lower my level and put my shoulder close to your ankle, do it now. And I'll, <clears throat> no way. <laughs> and you bring your shoulder inside my inside your thigh. Yeah. So you cannot really 
do anything with these ladies out of the game. Hmm. Okay, so I just haven't been going <laughs> long yeah. enough. Yeah, the, the, the thing is, as you put more pressure in order to keep the ankle close to the butt, less leverage mm -hmm. your opponent is going to have. So this leg doesn't play the game anymore. So it's, it's all about this leg over here. How are you going to control this leg? Perfect. Right? And that's the leg that the guy going to spend all the energy trying to come back. So that's the leg that's going to start to burn. You know? So that's it's just about a little timing, you know, and knowing that walk to the side is not the best option because you walk too much, you start to lose that pressure over there, so they're going to bring the knee in and then square back to the guard. So you, you must be like 45 degree angle, step over, and then you slide chest to chest to pass. Perfect. Well, let's start applying this against some guards. Let's bring in Thomas right, and uh, go step by step. Thank perfect. you so much for the little history of the old one. Right, thank you.